All right, today is uh, Tuesday, March the 29th. Last couple of, almost the last week or two. It's either been too cold or too wet and cold to get any work done. I got the uh, intake out. What I originally thought was a uh, leaking head gasket appears to be what I understand to be a uh, temperature sensor. And right here is the temperature sensor. And if we look at it, it looks like right in here, I want to make sure I keep focus, right in here, looks like all the gasket material is just basically worn out, for better words. That's part of the crossover. And there's the other side, there's the blank. And that's the rear mate to the front crossover. And that goes to this pipe. And then to here uh, this bolt right here for the uh, intake you have to remove the vacuum pump and there's your vacuum pump it takes a little Y fork and a 15 millimeter screw holds that in place and goes down runs off the uh, camshaft and also runs the oil pump so anyway there's my $250 intake gaskets. If I know not, it's going to do all this. I'd have just done it my damn self. Uh, while I was messing around with that and pulling the vacuum pump, by the way, the bottom spline is uh, what runs the oil pump, and then the uh, worm gear is what's attached to the uh, camshaft. That drives this shaft and operates both the oil pump and the vacuum pump. Now if we take a look, right here it's cracked. I'm not for certain, but I suspect that may be why it doesn't work. But at any rate, uh, these two bolts can come out and this head is replaceable. So you don't have to buy the whole assembly. If your shaft is good, you don't have to buy that. So, I'm gonna let my camera adjust. That's where we're at, and that's been about three days worth of work getting all that broken down. But it's taken me about three weeks to get this much work done. I got no garage, no overhead shelter. The only way for me to even get up there to work on it is a stack of discarded pallets, which thank God I've got. So. Again, shout out to Renee in British Columbia, ck5.com forms. Been a great help on this uh, 6.2 liters, 379 CID Detroit diesel. Thanks, Renee. Let's see if we can get this thing back on the road.